what is it guys hi once again and i'm coming at you guys with another content of cooking kingdom and in this video i want to test out something that you guys have been asking me and it is going to be using clotted cream cookie inside of the world exploration stage 11-27 a lot of you guys have been asking me inside of my video hey is clotted cream cookie able to beat 11:27, or am i able to use clotted cream cookie for 11:27? so in this video i'm going to be testing it out i am not on my account I'm actually on my fiance's account and I wanted to use a clotted cream that was not like super like three stars or four stars or whatever it is and then with a you know super good topping or anything like that and I wanted to show you guys that it is still possible to beat it with the buff that clotted cream cookie has the 17.5% uh, damage resist that he is able to get when he uses his skill as well as if you guys use wallberry or even strawberry crepe inside of your team because they do give that extra uh, damage resist. Uh, wallberry is going to give you extra 15% as well as if you guys use uh who is it uh strawberry crepe well, strawberry crepe is also able to give 50 percent. so i am going to be using both of them inside of this video and then we'll be showing you guys uh using those two combos all right so let's get into 1127 real quick all right guys so the team that i want to try out is i'm going to take out actually cots in here and i'm actually going to be using a uh let's let's go and see uh Parfait. All right, so we're gonna use parfait instead, uh, and I'm gonna use five of chocolate for parfait, five of chocolate for herb. I'm not using pure vanilla just in case. Uh, if anybody else doesn't have a pure vanilla, herb is going to be a replacement. And also, if you do have pure vanilla, then just use pure vanilla instead. All right. So first one is gonna be this. So we're gonna use wallberry, uh, clotted cream, parfait, as well as herb. The toppings here are gonna be this: a five solid almond for our wallberry. Not a crazy damage resist at all, right, guys? It's just uh, you know, 22.5% with the 5% uh, set bonus. And then clotted cream is gonna be using five of the searing raspberry, and you can see that the damage resist is very low at 7.5% damage resist. Irv is going to use five so chocolate, just focusing on cr uh, cooldown, not, not really on the damage resist there. And then also the five swift chocolate for parfait. All right, so we're going to use that. The treasures are going to be the jelly watch, uh, feather, as well as a scroll. Um, I would say just in case your clotted cream does die, having a feather is going to be a good insurance just in case he does die. And I would say if you guys do want to put a fifth cookie, um, I would recommend either putting in someone like Eclair is going to be the best. But, you know, you can really have anybody. You can have Pumpkin. You can have uh, your uh, Cotton and Sorbet or anyone like that. And then I just need to make sure that Clotted Cream is going to be the highest uh, attack cookie on your team. All right, so here we go. This is going to be the stage now. So if you guys remember, uh, the skill order for Raspberry is going to be this. So first, Raspberry is going to use her second ability when you do encounter her first. And then the second skill that she's going to use is going to be the dash. And then every third move after that is going to be her dashes that, you know, she's going to dash to the uh, highest attacking cookie. So here we go, guys. Let's go and see uh, how well we do here. So I'm actually going to be healing my cookies here uh, with my herb. And then right here, I'm going to use Walberry's skill. And then right before she is going to start dash... Uh, I'm going to actually use both of their skills. So it is important to do that because you want to have that extra. Uh, it will be 32.5% damage resist on top of whatever you guys already have. Right. So and then after that, you have to make sure to use your skills to heal our clotted cream. Without that, you know, he is going to die. So right there. That, see, see that? That was so close. Right. Uh, you want to make sure that you are focusing on the. Uh, skilled, but right there, that's her first skill. Okay. And then she's going to use her second skill soon. Right there, that was her second skill. So make sure you are using your skills. And then get that 17.5% damage resist up. Alright, so you need to keep these defense up. You know, all of these stuff up. In order for your clotted cream to not die. Especially if your clotted cream is going to be a lower level. Uh, you want to make sure you are keeping the buffs up, especially when Raspberry is jumping at your cookies, all right? I would say, you know, having the mixture build is probably going to be the easiest for you guys. The three saving Raspberry, two solid almond. Having some extra uh, damage resist is going to allow Clotted Cream Cookie to survive uh, more than having less damage resist, okay? So now we're going to go and test out the Strawberry Crepe build here. So instead of Wallberry, we're going to actually replace a Wallberry here and put in Strawberry Crepe. And Strawberry Crepe is also going to be using five of the solid almond and then Searing Raspberry. Uh, Swift Chocolate and Swift Chocolate here. And the treasures are going to be the same. So let's go. And I'm going to skip all the way to the Raspberry uh, battle now. 
All right, guys, here we go. And it is going to be Raspberry here. And then, of course, like I said, when you do encounter her, she's going to use her second ability first. Right there, that's her second ability, healing up. And right here, as she is going to use her third ability, I'm just going to preemptively just use the uh, ability of Strawberry Cream. And I thought it. And you guys saw the damage that I took for Clotted Cream was like almost less than half. Why? Because of the 50%. And on top of that, right, I'm getting a ton more, right? So I'm getting what 17.5% plus 50% making it 67.5% damage resist. So make sure to I would say you know don't wait on the skill. Uh, it would be better if you guys can actually use the skill before her dash so that she does uh, not do like a crazy amount of damage to your clotted cream, especially at a lower level. So right there, you know, whenever it's up, I would just say use it. That's her uh, ability right there. And then I'm just gonna wait a little bit, just right there, and use it. Boom. And then now, uh, not even half, right? Just All right, guys. So just like you guys saw in the video, uh, Wallberry and Strawberry Crate are going to be good frontline to actually deal with 1127. And uh, having Clotted Cream is gonna be an easy way to do this because if you guys uh, look at this, you know, Sorvey's attack is gonna be 120, uh, 62. And of course, because Clotted Cream is a super epic, and on top of that, going to be a magic cookie. Uh, automatically, uh, the attack of Clotted Cream is usually going to be the highest uh, right behind someone like uh, Frost Queen or even uh, Sea Fairy. So if you are using Clotted Cream as your main damage dealer, and then on top of that, just having Eclair like, you know, on, on the side, it will definitely work out. But comboing with uh, Wallberry and Clotted Cream is going to work with Double Healer. And also, uh, better, even better is going to be Strawberry Crepe with Clotted Cream uh, Double Healer. And then on the side, someone like, you know, Pumpkin Pie, like I said, uh, Eclair, Cotton, or anybody who you really want to use that are going to have a damage or even support, but just having less uh, attack than Clotted Cream. But there you guys go. Just uh, wanted to share this video out with you guys because you guys have been asking me, uh, hey, can you use Clotted Cream for 1127? And yes, you can, especially if you guys do pair him up with someone like Strawberry Crepe as well as a Wallberry uh, for your team with good healing. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys won't miss out on any future Cooking Kingdom videos as well as live streams that I do on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.